Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going back to the past, not the future. This is a video about the DJI FPV system, shocking, and it was recorded before I actually flew the unit. So this is the first time I really did a range test. I didn't want to just fly it. And there have been a lot of range tests out there, but most of them, I watched one this morning out in the salt flats. I live in a housing addition on a golf course and that's where I fly most of the time. You see this all the time. But there's one spot that I drive by and it's kind of this tunnel of trees that's a golf cart path. And I've always wanted to fly down it. And really when I saw the DJI system and where it was flying and some of the places other people were flying, I was hoping I could fly from my house down to that path and then come back. And it's a ways away. I wasn't sure how well this unit would work going through houses, especially with all their five gigahertz Wi-Fi on. It tells you right there in the manual not to fly it around Wi-Fi, but whatever, I'm going to because this is where I am. But I wasn't brave enough to just put on the goggles and go. So here's how I tested it. You may recognize this rig from uh, a long time ago when I tested some micro cameras and put this together. I cut it all apart, strapped everything together, Used a UAV futures band in order to hold uh, the battery in place. I figured he needs a plug to, to get his channel going. Now I just have to take this outside and uh, see how far I can go. So a lot of people want to know what I've been doing for the last six months. Well, this is one of them. I got a toy or actually I got two toys that were both in really bad shape that I got a great deal on, but they needed some work in order to get usable. So I fixed up the other one, sold it, and I'm keeping this one, which is going to be really handy for our test today. All you right. Look like really good goggles. Yep. Do I have to take off my glasses? Yeah, you can wear your glasses with them. So we'll get to see what you think here. Uh, we'll probably have to adjust them here. Yeah. Let me get them adjusted. So I'm gonna pull the, here. You put no, put it back on your head. It's actually nice and easy to adjust. As long as I don't pull out your hair. Oh, except for this one won't come out. Oh, there we go. There. Will they stay now? Yeah. I'm gonna plug them in. Here's the what it you'll looks be seeing. Like a movie. It looks like a movie. Is that, is that better than any other goggles you've ever used? Yeah, it's way better. Way better? So we'll get to see. So now take them off, and I'm going to get in the car, and we're going to go see. So come, follow me. There we go. So we've got the GoPro going. Aiden's standing there. We're on the phone with him so we can see what's going on. We're recording the audio there. We've got this here. Now you can see. We're just going to drive. So now... I'm going to have you tell me what it looks like. Yeah. So far it looks good, obviously. Obviously. It better from here. So at some point, once it gets bad, I'll have you walk to the bottom of the driveway. Okay. Nope, let me move the phone. Starting to get a little blocky. A little bit? Just on the sides, yes. So that's what it'll do, is it'll get worse on the sides, but stay good in the middle. It just froze. It froze? Yeah. Is it, is it back, or is it still frozen? And it just turned off, and it shows the logo now. Really? Yeah. Well, that is super disappointing. Walk to the bottom of the driveway. Lift them up a little bit. Don't push any buttons. My antennas were down. They were messed up. I think we're on still. Yeah, we're, I'm still on. I'm still bound and connected. Make sure my antennas are on all the way. They are. All right. I'm going to come back. Push the recording button again. Okay. Now let's say we're recording. Yeah, yeah, it says we're recording. Okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. If I get a little bit higher. Starting to get blocky on the side like usual. Okay. Tell me when it cuts out. Or when it gets really bad. Okay. It's starting to lag and it just froze. It first froze. Wow. Huh. And it's back to the loading. The okay. Screen. All right. Well, I guess, I guess now we know. That's not. Trash. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
it's not what I hoped for, that's for sure. I was hoping it would be a lot, lot better than that. Well, it's about as good as a regular drone. Yeah. There's nothing miraculous there. We're back on track. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, you got video back? Okay. Well, that's good to know that that came back. All right. Well, I appreciate it. That's what I needed to know. So in summary, it went pretty much exactly the same distance as a 600 milliwatt transmitter in analog. I've done some tests before where I tested it and I didn't make it as far. I pulled up one video where I did range testing with the exact same scenario, but that was only a 25 milliwatt transmitter and it went less than half as far. So that's about right. The main thing I learned is this DJI unit won't fulfill all of my dreams by being able to fly anywhere in the edition at ground level the way I would really, really like to. This will go 4K, just not at the altitudes that we fly quadcopters at. We're flying at tree level at the highest. Most of the range tests I've seen, they don't want to fly it up high because they know it's going to crash and they don't want to break something, so they fly down low. Anyway, this wasn't the most scientific video, but it was kind of fun and I got to borrow my son to make him help me, so that's always fun too. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see in this series. I have several more recorded and I have a couple things I'm going to be testing here. It's raining, not today. And I've got more stuff on the way to try a few really exciting things for it. But until next time, remember... What should I remember? <laughs> Alexa, cancel. <laughs>